What's good? It's your boy Will W from Street Heat TV UK on behalf of Recaps, Blogs and Reviews. We're here today to check out the new film Underpound by Nathan GB Dixon, Team GB TV out there in Bristol. He's a filmmaker, videographer, content creator and we're going to check out his new film. Alright, so he starts off with these wicked little drone shots that he's come up with. I think they're pretty cool. All around the St. Paul's area, so obviously I recognise the area, I see what I'm seeing here. He, he goes on for this. I really like the, the, the drone shot above the city, I think that's a really cinematic shot. Um, maybe goes on a little bit longer than needed, but it is a good shot. Alright, so it starts off with the girl taking a wallet. Oh, okay, GB's in bed, so this is... GB has obviously taken this girl home, and she's waking up taking his wallet and, and dust. Alright, so in this, in this scene, GB starts talking about how she's the wife and he's going to wife it. That's the one for him, she's the one. Yeah, man. We've all been there and we've had a good beat from the night before and we want to wife the chick. We've all been there, we've all been there. Until he notices the wallet is gone. <laughs> I like how he built the suspense with this. He checked the keys, he dropped the keys, he checked the jeans again, and he brought in this music. And the music that he's using for this moment here is quite powerful. I think it really sets the mood and sets that he's been done over. See this, this, this scene here where he calls his brethren is quite cool, I quite like this scene, I think this is quite, quite well done, I like how you cut between the mobile scene in GB's house to his friend's house, I think that was cut well. After that he goes out and he meets his daughter and he, they're talking about what she wants for like Christmas or her birthday or something like that. And that's a really cool scene, I think that's quite a heartwarming scene and it's good to see GB doing that, I think that was a really cool scene. Um, probably one of my favourite scenes of the whole whole movie to be honest. Um, after the daughter scene, he, he does these really cool cut scenes where he is flying the drone and the drone is following him. I quite like those shots, I think that's some of, the, some of the best shots in the movie as well as the cinematic shots where you're above the city. I think that's some of the best drone work where you're right above the city and some of the stuff going through St Paul's, I think that's really well done and I'm impressed with that, so well done with that. I quite like how GB used one of his own songs in this scene here. It fits well with the situation he's just been in and also promotes a bit of his music and it's a really good drone shot that he's gone into as well around St Paul's, I really like this work. Really good work here GB, this, this is a really cool little independent film, I like it, I like it a lot. I think this scene here where he shoots with his friend down in St Paul's and they're talking about the move where they're going to go uh, attempt to uh, get 60 bags from a yard off of this guy that's meant to be not so big and he's got some sort of crazy flu or something like that. Uh, I, I quite like this thing because it seems natural. I don't feel it's been over scripted, I feel they both just kind of went on the fly and, and did what they had to do. Um, GB seems very confident in this scene as well, I really like how confident he comes across in this scene. I'm, I'm very very impressed. For someone who doesn't make films like this, who's known for music videos and stuff like that, for his first attempts at something like this, it's really impressive work and he should be very very proud of it and I'm, I'm really proud of it. I think it's wicked work, wicked wicked work. Well done man, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this movie, I'm really really loving it. Like in these scenes walking through the streets and that sort of thing there. I would have maybe added some shots of like footsteps maybe, but that's just, you know, just do little ideas. I do like this, this scene here where they follow the guy to the flats is, is a good scene. I like the music, I think the music's not too loud, I don't think it's over the top. I think he's faded it in quite nicely. I like how he's kept his Team GB TV stuff on as well. I like the branding in this video, man. Well done. Good, smart stuff. I don't know who the cameraman was to follow GB and the other guy around, but these are some cool follow shots. I do like these a lot. GB's editing on this is really good as well. Really, really good. See, I like that scene there. Only thing I maybe would add to this running away scene, you know how GB has the drone? Maybe if you had a shot of, of GB being chased by the drone and have the drone following them running away? Just to add a mini shot, I mean, just, just an idea. It's not That's not a criticism at all. That's just maybe something to add to it. It'd be cool. More of these, these drone shots of GB walking through the street. I like, I like these, these drone shots that he's using. 
and the lights that are flashing up on the back of the cars and everything from the drone, it, it's a cool effect, it adds to it, I don't think it ruins it, I think that adds to it. Yes, this is cool, I like I like this walking up to, to the guy and, and saying hello to him. And you, you see bare these conversations out in Bristol all the sort of time, anywhere really, you see people having these conversations everywhere trying to link each other up and can I help you out, can I get you this, can I get you that, you know. That's what you got to do when you're on the road trying to make money, you know. This is a very reality based scene, I, I, this is exactly how it would be in my opinion. This, this scene here in the pub with the sneaky guy, I like this a lot because it, again, very reality based, something that I can relate to, it's a very relatable scene. You get guys who chat shit about you and smile in your face later on because it's something Jimmy talks about in real life as well, so yeah man, I like how he's taking like personal experiences and the things that he knows about and he's putting it into his movie. This is cool, this is a very cool film, Underpound man, go check it out on YouTube. This is the best scene in the film next to the daughter scene. So obviously GB hasn't got the money at the moment, he's looking to try and make some money, he's trying to make something happen. And the guys that he was talking about earlier that are going to be onto him, that's that's happening to him right now, the man they're getting onto him. I like this scene a lot because like it's how it would be. It's not overly violent, it's not over the top, they just give man a few digs and they're trying to get their money to the problem, not smashing him right up there, it's making it happen. GB's facials and acting skills in the scene are fantastic and set the tone. Really, really great job. Love these drone shots, GB man. You, you've got a true talent and a true, true knack with these drones. Real talk. I love these boss man scenes. I think this boss man scene with Lucky House management is mint. So, I'm not sure what this, this scene was about. Was this man was just trying to get some credit or, or was he about to go to work and he got kicked out of work? Or I'm, I'm not sure what the scene was, but I, I love the portrayal of it. And big up Lucky House management every single time, man. I really like this meeting the guy in, in the, the venue scene. Because I like how GB's there, but he's blurred it and it makes it look like the guy's off his nut. And that's that's what they portray in the scene, that the guy's off his nut. I love the comment GB makes on the way out of the scene when he goes, I, <laughs> I was getting my hopes up about that job. Got my hopes up about that job. <laughs> I like how he's on the phone and he's he's using the the, the current slang and how, how people talk in Bristol and St Paul's. GB has done a really great job of putting this together. And yeah, man, I, I I can't hate on this film. I can't really say too much about it. I think for a first time filmmaker, for someone who hasn't really made films before, for a first attempt, should be given all the praise in the world. And I say go support Team GBTV. Head over to his channel, give him some more subscribers. Like, I've known GB a long time. My business partner's known him way longer. They go way back. Like, we, we've known GB a long time. And to see him do something like this, which is positive, it's really shown his progression in his filmmaking career. And it really is a solid short film. Like, GB, dude, seriously, I would send this around some film festivals and, and, and send it around some... I'm not even sure, just just, just film festivals, companies, anybody that would take in short films and would show an interest, I would send this to them, this is a solid piece of work, you might be able to get yourself some funding from some sort of arts council or something like that. This is a solid movie. And I like how you ended it with with, with, with Lucky House at the end there. Get off my phone. <laughs> and that's a really great way to end the movie. Wicked job, GB, man. I, I kind of can't hate on this film at all. I think you've done a really great job. Big up Lucky House Management. Big up everybody that features the films. So I didn't know these guys personally, but I know they're local guys. Like, wicked job. I can't hate on this movie at all. I really enjoy it. Um, anybody that's into short films should check this out. Anyone who's got some sort of film festival or short film company or event or something like that, I highly recommend GB goes check them out or they reach out to GB or whatever. But yeah, wicked thing. Under pound, man. Under pound, wicked short film by Team GB TV. Big up Nathan every single time, man. Uh, this is Will W, man. Directed by Will W from Street Heat TV UK on behalf of Recaps, Blogs and Reviews. And we're out of here, man. Until the next one, let's get out.